you know what? If porn is going to date me as a cougar, I'm going to roll with it. And to be honest, I like doing cougar and stepmom scenes because... Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Pillow Time! <laughs> Same, but welcome to the show, babies. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to your favorite podcast. This is Pillow Talk. I'm your host, Ryan Pannell. We're joined by Mr. Quickie at They Call Me Dark. And today, we're joined by the queen of cougars, number one cougar in porn, big celebrity, superstar porn star, Rochelle Ryan. Thank you. That's my best cougar. <laughs> Rochelle Ryan, thank you for coming. Thank yeah. you for having me. You can tell me. them what happened on the way here if you want. Oh my gosh. Ryan sent me to the wrong address. Mm. I kind of hated him, yeah. but it was only 15 minutes away, so I wasn't too angry. That's what she said. She said, <laughs> based on how far it is, is how much I fucking hate <laughs> Oh. And 15 I, minutes. It was, yeah, 15 minutes. It's like I'm a 30% hate. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But now I see But you're it. Canadian, and I love all Canadians. Have you had sex with a Canadian? I'm sure I have. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, why you, yeah. Why do you like Canadians? Canadians are just, they're so nice. We're they're nice. very non confrontational people. I mean, I just, I love Canadians. I haven't met one that I hate. You know yet. what? There's a lack of. Porn stars from Canada. The only one that I know of is Jesse Jones. He's Canadian. Oh, a, a oh, guy. We, we yeah. thought that was a girl. We have a male porn star in Canada. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. No yeah, idea. Yeah, he's Canadian. We we're the only two big. Dicks and of out course, there. oh, yeah. know, I'm feeling a lot of big dick energy in this room nope, right now. Not over here. Not over <laughs> not here. Not over here. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I got to pour one out for August Ames. Oh, oh yeah, oh, she's Canadian. 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 That's right. Legend. Oh, all right. Actually, that brings me to a good question. Sure. That I never thought I would ask, but. Oh, gosh. Uh oh. <laughs> I, I, I asked my friend the other day about porn and I said, who's your go to porn star? When you, you know, you're going, you're on page 19 of Pornhub. Nothing's fucking doing A it for deep you. Deep search. Who's your one that uh, you can always count on? And he said, and I quote, man, when I can't find a good video, I always just throw it back to August Ames like it's ESPN Hardwood Classics. <laughs> oh <my> gosh. <laughs> it was Damn. Lucas. It was my friend. I know exactly. It was what Lucas. You're talking about. Now, uh, oh, I think I saw you post about that. Yeah, I screenshot it. I posted it as a meme and <laughs> other meme pages picked it up. Sports guys get it. Yeah. yeah. Is yeah. that wrong? Uh, I yeah. just, you know, I don't know. Because her views skyrocketed when she passed away. Yeah, and, I mean. And, and I loved her, but I, I never went back because I felt that was weird. Yeah, I think it'd be weird too. Right? I just couldn't. You know, listening to like Tupac. That's okay. That's different. I don't it's know. It's different. Yeah, I just think it's weird. I still bought Michael Jackson. <laughs> no I mean? judgment, but I just Carrell think it's weird. Boy his death and sold so much merch. Wow. It's a thing. Yeah, but she died. I her. get it, but he faked his death. They bought all the merch. It's like the same like his merch would be the music, you know? I don't think that is a correlation. No. What do you mean? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyways, Rochelle so Ryan. actually died, someone faked that, I get it. Okay, okay. Rochelle Ryan, I did a deep dive on your pornography oh, really? discography, and I couldn't find anything non-cougar. <laughs> so did you just kind of wait it out and just say, I'm a cougar, I'm going to be a cougar. So you waited till you were cougarish. Well, when I first got into the industry in 2006, oh. I was, I did my very first scene on my 21st birthday and I had implants, I had fillers, um, and I didn't really look like a teeny bopper because there's no real category. You're either coming into porn as a teeny bopper or you're in the MILF cougar genre. Right. There's no real category in between. Like you're just the hot chick with ba boobs, I think it's like, called babe. You're just a babe. babe. So I yes. did a lot of babe stuff. And then once I turned 30, then I could start kind of moving into like the stepmom and the cougar. Mm. And I just really like blossomed into it, I guess. I loved it. Because that's kind of crazy. You're doing stepmom porn at 30. Yeah, at 30. Crazy. It was 33 was when it really started to kick off for me. I just my look started to mature a little mm. more. And I just started getting booked. And I was like, you know what? If porn is going to date me as a cougar. I'm going to roll with it. And to be honest, I like doing cougar and stepmom scenes because they're less aggressive. Yeah, the work plot's always very nice. It yes. is. Yes. I'm working with like young, like hot guys, mm. you know, it's like I'm banging the pool guy or, yeah, the pool boy. you know, my friends, pool boys or my always... son's like hot friend. It's, it's fun. No one fucks more than pool boys on the internet. Yep. Nobody, not even Nathan Webb. <laughs> the guy can have sex. Look at him. It's a 14 out of 10. <laughs> 14 <least>. out of 10. <laughs> okay. So a new thing that we've been obsessed with lately, and we haven't spoken about yet dark uh -oh. is uh me more i'm a big porn guy okay oh, yeah. i love it D I digital sex guy i honestly prefer jerking off than having sex with girls jerking off more than having sex with girls yes really yeah, I, I, yeah. 
Interesting. You know, I, the, the whole fucking thing of a one night stand for what, 10, 15 minutes of sex, not worth it to me. But yeah. the girl I don't like, an annoying girl, eh, <laughs> rather jerk off. So Ryan jerked off already as it is. Okay, as good. It is. And then he got something. Yes, a, a big chronic masturbator. Oh, fabulous. My friends always, we'll be watching a movie, I'll be like, I gotta take five. I do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Really? I'm yeah, like, I gotta yeah, yeah. check my phone. It's awesome. Five. Three, four, thank you. That's why you, you said, how did you find me? I said, baby girl. <laughs> I know you. Yes, yeah. Now, my new thing is, I got an Oculus, a MetaQuest 2. Oh my goodness. But doink VR, fuck, VR porn. It's I, too much for me. I love it. Really? I couldn't find you on there. I thought. Oh, I couldn't do I it with I the headset. Uh, it's too. It makes me dizzy. And I wanted to have a quickie with you before the show. Oh, really? Oh, no, wait. I think <laughs> you couldn't film the VR porn, or you couldn't actually wear the headset. VR and jerk porn off to is it. extremely challenging to film. Like, actually, I. The company will remain nameless, but I shot two VR scenes and I was like, oh, I'm done after this. Really? <laughs> yeah, it's because it's a lot of work on the female. The guy, oh, yeah, it's, the guy it's just, easy for him. He's just yeah. hard dick just sitting there. So it's all like work on the female. And it's just, you know, your knees are grinding on like oh, concrete. Yeah. And I'm just like, oh, I can't do this. Yeah, yeah, I've already replaced my knee nothing, once. <laughs> nothing. And it's a long blowjob scene, 15 minutes, I'd say. Yeah, I mean, I don't mind sucking dick for 15 minutes, but. <laughs> I just don't. It's the fucking squatting on the cock. I've never done yeah. it, but I, I, I assume that's a workout. And I, know, I, I know am the a routine, sexual no. athlete. Like, I am in shape. I work out, but I'm like, whoo, Lord, I don't want to do VR ever again. It's the same shit every time. They tell the producers to mix it up. Yeah. It's all, it always starts with blah, blah, blah. How was your day? Rub me. So whisper in the ear. Blow job. Yeah. Then she lays on your belly and rubs her pussy. Yeah. Right in your face. Then 69, and the pussy's right in your, in your right here. Yeah. And then she gets on and does this one, and then she does the booty bounce. And by the way, why in VR porn is the cum shot like this? What do you mean? Every time. <laughs> like, I'll show you. Instead of, you know, a cum shot. Yeah. Like this. Uh-huh. In VR, it's it's like this. They come on the cheek. <laughs> they come on the cheek. Oh. And they lay across the bed like this. I think mm. she I think she's videos might... in a row. No, you must not because I've had straight on facials. Or usually just like on my bush or something like that. In VR? Yeah, yeah. bush is popular too. Yeah. I, on the missionary pull-up. Because usually the rig is right in front of the guy's chest. So he like, he's oh. kind of stuck. Like I'm kind of stuck right now. <laughs> <laughs> just titty fucked our mic there. I did. I just titty Mike's fucked Mike. your mic. Mike's mic. Mike's mic. He's Thanks, Mike. How big are <laughs> your breasts? You want to guess? He's Can you guessing. guess? No, you're good at guessing tits. Not fake tits. <laughs> you're oh. good at guessing CCs though. Oh yeah, I'm a CC guy. Oh, okay. CC guy. And I'll probably guess your sign, but I already know it because I looked it up. But Oh, you yeah. cheater. Oh, well, at least I admitted it. I'll give you a blowjob if you guess right. Is that true? Your CCs? Hold on, hold on. Let's... You said you're good at guessing CCs. No, wait, wait, wait. You'll give him a blowjob if he guesses how many CCs or, or your astrology sign? He already looked up my astrology Sagittarius. sign. Sagittarius. No. Uh, Shit, thank God I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> what were you Googling? Let's go back to your chichis. Okay, <laughs> let's call it like, okay, you're going to offer him a blowjob. Yes, If he's he guesses hot. your CCs? Yes. He's hot? Yes. Wow. It's the glasses, not the hairline, right? Oh, I okay. think you're hot. I'm going to guess. <sighs> I think you're Dark's on fire. I think you're hot too. Um, <laughs> Why don't you guys just fuck already? <laughs> okay. Jesus Christ. I'm guessing 625 each. No. 800. 800. Yes! I owe you a blowjob. <laughs> <laughs> that Good is job. the best turn of events oh, ever. Oh, thank God. Good job. <laughs> Fuck. Mm. Thank God for Google. I was that thinking was you were wearing I'm lower. kidding, I'm kidding. I don't I think not. I've ever, like, No, said I never Googled your CC. <laughs> Just so you know, I, I, I guess lower because I thought there was a lot of bra going on. No. Nope, they're 800. <laughs> I got my boobs from my dad. <laughs> Wait, did your dad buy your titties? Oh my God, no. Oh. <laughs> my ex-husband did. <laughs> Loser. Good man. Yes, very good man. Did you like him? Um, he actually, RIP, he passed away like a year ago. Oh. I know, so sad. How did he pass? <laughs> Heart attack. I know, so young too. Wow. Like 53. Oh, I was going to say, I Heart thought it would be old age. Yeah, old age. I was going to say, what kind That's why I got to mess with 20-year-olds now. <laughs> I think he bought you the tits, and then he saw you titty fucking on porn and said, Probably. This was a mistake. This Probably. was a mistake. That's terrible. Probably. I just made fun of your... Yeah, I did too. Wait, wait, okay. did you just divorce, and then he died, or did he die, then he divorced? Oh, divorced, and then he passed away. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. That's terrible. She did. That's terrible. Yeah, we're going to hell. So was he a porn star too? Oh my gosh, no. Producer? No. 
Definitely not. I've never dated anyone in the porn business. Wow. Ever. Everyone, because we interview a lot of porn stars, everyone does. This is trending. Yes. Oh, I have never. I do not like guys in the porn industry. I would never date a producer, nothing. I like regular, normal men. Wow. Yeah. So young. You like the bartenders too. I, you know, I'm like branching out because a lot of young guys, I don't have a lot in common with them. Mm. They're too into like being broke. Yeah, that or like, you know, it's like a Tuesday night and I'm like, what are you doing? And they're like, oh, I'm going to go get drunk at my friend's house. I'm like, all right, you're not going to go to the gym. You're not going to like yeah. do anything, work on your goals. Like nothing. I'm, I'm going to take the bus and wait in line at the club. Yeah. yeah. Like what are they? They have a small six pack and a fucking rope of a cock. What are they? Yeah. All they want to do is get drunk. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> What's the youngest guy you've slept with? Uh, 18. Wow. Yeah. I shot with this guy. His name was Lil D. He was the Bang Bros contract guy. Mm. And he was still in high Lil school. D. Yes. And he was still in high school. Did he, he no Lil D. Uh, definitely not. No. no. I mean, he was like little, like short and just very small body. But um, yeah, he was Big still in high D. school. <laughs> yeah. Big deal. Yeah. Still in high school. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to play Mr. Quickie? Let's do it. Okay. Yeah. This is going really well. I, I love you. This is, yeah, you're the best. Oh, thank you. I try. I'm Mr. Quickie, by the way. You do are. Do you want to know why they call me Mr. Quickie? Oh my goodness. Yes, please. <laughs> because I do everything, and I mean everything, as quickly as possible. You now have 60 seconds to answer as many questions as you can, as quickly as you can. Oh, Lord. Starting, What's the record? Well, like Starting Shit. Okay. now. Looks like you were on the Out and About podcast at Barstool. Yes. Did you go on there because you were a fan, or was this just a way to get close to Daddy Portnoy? Oh, no, I'm a fan. Okay, for sure. For she sure. Young boys. Speaking of day porn, night, outside of porn, do you like rough sex or are you more of a passionate lover? Passionate lover. Okay. It's not true. <laughs> Was there ever a moment during porn where you thought, Dan, this isn't for me. I should be a f f physical education no. teacher. <laughs> no. Okay. That won't even answer the rest of the question. <laughs> if someone is offering you $50 million to have sex with one person for the rest of your life, this person is in love with you and you will always, always love fucking you. Um, but isn't guaranteed to be good in bed. Would you choose someone you fucked in the past or would you choose someone new? Mm, anyone good question, new? Dark. You come up with that one? Oh, yes. anyone new. Okay. Who would it be? Anyone new? Would probably... it be a celebrity? Yes. Who, Who would it be? Gronk. Gronk. Yeah, you want to fuck Gronk. Gronk. Yes. We yes. love Gronk. I love Gronk too. <laughs> Have you ever had a workplace injury? Yes. Was there any compensation? No. What was the injury? <laughs> it tore my meniscus. Oh, <laughs> fucking? No, I was feature dancing. Oh, okay. yeah. Meniscus. Tore my meniscus. meniscus. Yeah, non-contact injury too. Just Gronk on stage, meniscus. spreading my legs, and boom. Wow. No yeah. one's got a better meniscus than Gronk. Though. That's the cougar shit. That's a yeah, that's that cougar shit. When you become shit. a cougar, you got to stretch before sex. Can I grab a, <laughs> exactly. I grab a trophy from, from you, Jinx? Please and thank Okay, you. let's talk about the football players. So okay. I saw that you, you called out and exposed a Patriots player who's obsessed with you. I did. <gasps> who's that? Um, to be honest, I'd have to dig through my DMs, but I won't his say name, his name. No, yeah. I'll say his name. No. Uh -uh. Okay. <laughs> He's not even worth it. <laughs> okay, big, big player, though? Like we know um, To be honest, I don't know because I don't follow the Patriots. Okay. So. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, you want to fuck Nick Bosa. Did you accomplish that? No. And then you offer you offered to fuck Joe Burrow if you won the Super Bowl. Oh, yeah. He's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> so what he is He has this? a girlfriend, though. <laughs> so you go, out, you go on the internet, you call out these football players you want to have sex with. You know what it is? And they're young I, guys. I, they're all young. Nick Bosa is a kid. If I think they're hot, I'm like, hey, I think he's hot. Like, that's it. Like, sure. I can say whatever I want on social media. Can I take, if I Normalize guess. Normalize shooting your shot. Yes. If, if I guess who the football player is, will you say yes? On the Patriots? Yeah, I got one guess. I'd have to literally dig through my DMs. I, I remember his number, but I don't Starts remember. Starts with an eight? No. <laughs> Julian Edelman? I don't even think he's currently on the roster. Okay. Because I no. noticed, we love, this isn't a racist comment, but you like white football players. I mean, white I don't. White Patriot guy, Julian Edelman. <laughs> Wes Walker. No. <laughs> okay. You're not going to guess it, I promise Fair. you. <laughs> Do you allow the pleasure to have sex with athletes? Um, Pro athletes. Do you like NBA players? Um... Yes and no. I mean, I like football players. They're a little more like athletic. I like football players. I like boxers. Oh. Boxers are very aggressive. What about <laughs> dodgeball players? Wait, wait, hold on. Dodgeball, <laughs> yes. Wait, have you yes. slept with any boxers? You got to spill the beans uh, here. Nope. Give us some names. No boxers. Name no, names? I will never name names. My lips are sealed. You will never get it out of me. <laughs> Fine. Fine. Are you Italian? Yes. 
Oh. Okay. okay. I have a question for you. Okay. It's Sunday. Nona is over. Yeah. You guys are rolling out the dough to make your own pasta by, from scratch. Mm -hmm. You put your hand on the dough to help Nona and she slaps her hand away being like, I know where those hands have been. Or is she very <laughs> like welcoming of your your choice of work oh well she didn't know but she probably would just slap my hand away because my grandma just wanted to run the show she wants to do that. you never go in an italian woman's kitchen and try and run the show you just let her do it okay all. but you see what i was going with that you know what italian families are tough right you, well, yeah exactly. very you don't see yeah. a lot of italian porn stars because italians are fucking you know yeah, family that's where i was going with that yeah no i, I yeah. get i get what you're saying so let's talk about the family i know you get this question every day but mom and dad how do they feel um, you know, at the beginning, they were kind of like, wow, like, this is what you're choosing to do. But now I've been in almost 16 years. I've owned a home since I was 25 years old. They know that I make really smart decisions. I save my money. I never got into the party and scene. And, um, you know, they're not like, yeah, rock on, you yeah. know, our daughter's a porn star. But they're just <laughs> kind of like, hey, like, as long as you're safe, you're healthy, you're making good money, you're having fun you know, we love you. And that's what they, you know, that's what family should do. They should just love you. Yeah, they should be supportive. Totally. Sure, but and you know what? Every fucking girl like now that. is a porn star. Instagram and, is porn. Well, at this only point. fans yes. has turned everybody. They think they're a porn star. I beg to differ. I have been doing it 16 years. I've taken a lot of dick. I can, <laughs> say, your time. I can say that I am a porn star. Yes, you are a porn star. Yeah. Yes. Big deal. Everyone else is just like an OnlyFans model. Oh, you got to do it from the oh, so of you your have own a couch. little bit of fuck you vibes to them. No, because you know what? At the end of the day, we're all sex workers, and you know we're all gonna have that stigma and and rock on and and more power to ya. I mean, even like Cardi B and some like, that have OnlyFans. I'm like, I think it's amazing. They're bringing everyone to the platform, yeah, and I not. just I think it's. And great. you're probably grateful too. You probably make a ton of money on OnlyFans. No? Yeah. Only do you have OnlyFans? You didn't have a link in your bio. I don't do that. No. Yeah. You don't do OnlyFans. I do OnlyFans, but I don't keep a link in my bio you don't because get deleted. Yeah. yeah, it's Good it's way too She's, risky. Yeah. OnlyFans feel, girls, be careful. And I feel like I'm like I'm verified on Instagram, I'm verified on Twitter. It's only the really dumb men and I hate saying, calling them dumb but it's, they need link, like yeah. an airport like traffic <laughs> controller like uh, yeah. right here Where's click this, this link, just click said, this link. I, like if you I, Google I just Rochelle said, I don't think she had only fans. fans it'll pop up that's me you're talking about right now because I like, just said I don't think you know what it is because a lot of men don't want to do the work they don't like to put in the effort true that I know. I'm mm -hmm. learning this. I put in the effort. Ryan puts on a headset and holds two controllers. <laughs> he puts in the work. I put in the work. Oh yeah. How much money are you bringing in a month? I'm not telling you. I'm talking. I, I, I bet you it's 200k a month. Oh my god! You sound no, like I me wish. Her tits I wish. Two hundo. Oh my god! Way I higher. wish. <laughs> no. Okay. Now let me ask you this: Are you more focused on that or porn? How many scenes a week do you shoot, ish, or a month? Um, so right now my goal is I'm pretty well established in the adult film industry, but I like to shoot at least two to four times out of the month for the major companies like Bang Bros and Browsers and Reality Kings, just because I want to get their traffic. And I do still enjoy being on set. I love the camaraderie. I love, you know, just chatting it up with, you know, because a lot of times I don't get to see a lot of the talent in LA or let's get more into that. Okay. The you, the, yeah, like on set, you like the the like. Is it like we this? Started. Is it like this? But you're no. Fucking? This is a lot of people. Okay. Okay. <laughs> one camera guy. Um. Well, like today for browsers, one you camera shot guy. Today. Yes. Oh, I did. with our boy. Who? Oh, Kieran. The guy that put us, Harry Jowsey put us in a group with. Oh, no way. Kieran Lee. Yeah, you had sex with him today. Yes, uh, I did. He's our friend. His, how's his dick? Like this? Is it another Oh, it's can? way bigger. <laughs> yeah. That's our boy. Oh, you, oh it is? We knew our yeah. boy was Kieran's awesome. Sleeping. Is he good? Yeah, Kieran's the best. And we're friends now with Oliver Flynn. Have you shot the young guy? Oh, you I know Oliver. Big horn on the guy. Yes, we shot a long time ago, but nothing Dude, recent. Dude, Oliver's fucked everyone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he's been, and Kieran's fucked everyone too. Oh, Kieran, I know, yeah. Yeah, we and he's funny. We get he's one of the Kieran's boys hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. And of um, course, and like the greatest personality, just so nice. Like I adore him. We should probably get him on. No, yeah, we yeah, should get totally. him on. Totally. And what about Johnny Sins? You shot with him? He is just the gold standard of porn stars. Everyone, he's we every porn star we've interviewed just yes. has great things to say. Yeah, he's just the gold standard right there. Why? Why is he so? What makes Johnny? He's just he's very humble. He's smart. He's nice. Um, he's I just mean, like a normal cool. Great, great dick. He's a dream like, guest. Oh, he's got a gorgeous dick. He's yeah. Perfect. Can you get us Johnny on the show? Thick, awesome. I could try. Yeah, he's wait. kind of like a nomad. He's like he in Vegas. He's in Hawaii. Doesn't have um, social media, right? He has Twitter. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, I could we, try and make something that's where happen. You can, can you make? Can you, you get Johnny? Come co-host it with us. We love you. Okay. Yes, All right. Deal. That's a deal. <laughs> Unreal. We want her back on the show. Deal. Okay. Let's get Lexi in for her question. Johnny. Johnny. Lexi Hensler, everybody. Hi, Lexi. Lexi's the best. <laughs> you gotta watch her shit. Sexy Lexi. Sexy Lexi. Hi. Lexi Hensler. I have a question. Queen okay. Of Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Um, so as someone who has had many failed relationships and never an orgasm. <laughs> <laughs> how old are you? I'm 24. You've never had an orgasm on your own? No. What would you recommend? Try oh my fun. gosh, no. <laughs> Girl, you need a Hitachi. Seriously. Hitachi? Yes. Okay. Is that yeah. like a is that like a bear trap and a ten thousand? No, laser it's technically it's like a back massager, but it is amazing. Like seriously, like lock yourself in your room and just experiment and have fun. Okay. Yeah. What? what? Wow. wow. What's wow. a Hitachi? It's yeah. like it's so it's like a back. Somebody needs to pull it up on Google right now. <laughs> yeah. Jinx, pull it up. Oh, that's really it's, helpful. How do you know oh, what it is? It's Jinx? amazing. We have one at home. What is it? It's that long brown box, that big rod. With Why the do you thing. have one? You guys live together? We have a bunch of yeah. sex Oh, I yeah. love it. You want to come over sometime? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Good job, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> she owes me the blow job. <laughs> I know. I Damn, know. I wanted to blow him. <laughs> 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 Shit! What? It seems I look younger. <laughs> you do. <laughs> Cougar. Look. See, oh you? yes, we have one of those. Yeah, it's on my. Oh, I, I what do you have it, it for? Why do we have it? Get it up in my room. What do you have it for? For the ladies. Who brought it? Good man. I, I, I have no. I have no idea. Lexi, thank you for coming on. Thank you. Lexi. You're welcome. Great question. Tune in next week for Lexi Hensler. <laughs> I can't. Fucking believe mm. she's never had a, an I, orgasm. I know, like I want to give her one. Poor girl. <laughs> do you, I'll take that what? Offer. Really? Uh, deal. Okay. Do you do you hook up with girls? Are you bisexual off camera? No, actually, like that's like a lie. I love men. The older mm. I get, the more that I love men. I love testosterone. I just love a nice mm. alpha male. Like that's why you like darkies and men. Yeah, I love men. <laughs> I can be a bitch sometimes, though. So. Oh, gosh. Yeah. You know what he does? <laughs> what? I'm going to expose you right now. Yeah, what? do it. He fucks in Toronto, where we're from. Uh-huh. He had three married women on his roster. And awesome. He would, and he would fuck them. And Amazing. I'm like, uh, it's terrible. That's awesome. You Good know, I, I look at he's, like, <laughs> he's, he's taking your phone. Uh, you know, off. he's like, he's like, I'm like, let me see her. He shows me the Instagram, and it's her at the park with her fucking husband. That's amazing. I'm like, I look in his eyes, and I just see him fucking. It's just broken. no attachment. You know, it's no, safe. They're it's not going to fall in love. It's literally sex only. It's a transaction. Yeah. And as far as I'm concerned, if she doesn't fuck me, she's going to fuck someone else. Yeah, so she and, might as well fuck I, you. I like it. I'm mentally stimulated by the fact that I'm fucking a married woman. I'm sorry, I'm a little fucked. <laughs> hey, I'm with it. I'm did, down. did you ever cheat on your husband? Your late, no, gra late never. great husband? No, I'm a cancer, so I'm very loyal. Cancer. I'm you are? Yeah, July eighth. Oh, okay. I'm three days after you, July eleventh, seven eleven. Well, why don't you guys just fuck already? I'm always open. Because she wanted you. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. Uh how are we doing on time, Jinx? Twenty three. Twenty three. Okay, can you give us some like horror stories on set maybe some you know the viewers mm. by the way people can't believe that we interview porn stars it's this whole glamorous thing and we've done cool people we've done you know rappers artists actors whatever yeah 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 porn stars is this different pedestal of fucking fame Everybody where people are, doesn't understand your life and, and yeah no one understands that you guys just go to the grocery store yeah, yeah like we're, normal, shows. we're normal humans yeah. like, no one knows that yeah we people just, think you're a porn star and it's like a whole different oh yeah breed of of, of, a, of a species yeah it seems. yeah Oh, I know. So people can't believe it. Like, oh yeah. my God, Rochelle, right? Uh, like, if a fan sees me when I'm out, it's like, they. it's almost like I'm an alien. Yes, They're like, yeah. oh my gosh. And I'm like, yeah. well, I, I am a normal human. I do travel on airplanes and grocery shop and go to the gym they don't and, think that. and walk yeah. my and dogs. Like, yeah, they don't believe it. Yeah, me. they don't. You poop? What? Yeah. <laughs> you have to poop when you eat cheese? Well, it's me too. What? <laughs> like, they can't believe it. So where I was going is that people, they don't know, and you guys don't really talk about like your industry that much. I think there should be a reality show on porn stars, by the way. I know Brazzers did one at one point. Yes, they did like the Brazzers house. Yeah, I watched the whole season. <laughs> Wait, what's Brazzers house? It's fucking awesome. We'll you watch it together. It? No. Oh, okay. It was so cool. They put a bunch of porn stars in a house together. How are we both going to watch? And then they, the they, they, it was the behind the scenes of fucking, it was really good. Okay. But anyways, people don't know about your life. So tell, tell people what they don't know, yeah, you know, something. horror stories. Shit that people don't know. Something Horror you stories. think that is going to be wild to us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blow our minds. And oh I know it's desensitized, desensitized to you. Um, but, you know. 
Give Gosh, us Gosh, a horror story like on set? Yeah. Um, Wasn't with Johnny Sins. No, no nothing with him. He's the golden. He is. He's literally <laughs> the golden boy. <laughs> the golden boy. Um, Gosh, horror stories on set. I can't really. I mean, back when there was the whole like condom law they were trying to pass in L.A. I mean, there was a lot of horror stories of. What's a condom law? They were trying to pass a condom law. It was Prop 60, I believe, is what it was. They were trying to pass where any production where condoms had to be used. And, you know, we do testing, I mean, you know, every three days. And it's full panel, everything. Every three days? I mean, I go like every three days when I'm actively shooting, but it's every 14 days is in your performer panel. Hmm. And um, oh, yeah. so they were trying to pass this condom law and nobody was abiding by it. You know, the porn industry has always been like the wild, wild west. We always just kind of do whatever we want. We don't give a shit. Um, so there was days where like you're on set and there's helicopters flying low, like trying to, you know, see if there's girls in bikinis out by the pool. And then they would just show up knocking on the door, just looking for permits and everything. Oh, really? Yeah. No way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. blockers. Yeah, total. So that was when <laughs> the industry, um, a lot of the industry started shifting out to Vegas because Vegas is just like wide oh, open. Uh, we yeah. We love Vegas. Yeah. Vegas is great. Okay. <laughs> Even Ryan can't get arrested in Vegas. <laughs> There Did is some, there well, is a lot of crazy stuff sure. though in Vegas like <laughs> public nudity if you get caught like peeing in public you're a registered sex offender what? that's what? where Here? Vegas is crazy in Vegas oh yeah they let a lot of shit go then the little things out of way. yeah like it's crazy so Miami is a place if you want to do like really wide open crazy shit like have your ass bouncing on the beach yes. or like the bang bus like the bang bus is the sketchiest what is the bang bus the um bang bros does it and it's oh it's it, hosted by uh, Alexis Morgan. No. No, they go no she the, does the a, a she bus. does the fan bus. Fan There's bus. Bang Bang Bros. They have the Bang Bus, and that's M probably mixed up the buses. That's probably the sketchiest thing you can do as a porn star. I mean, the guys that they are picking, they're not randoms because obviously they have to be tested. Um, and then now too, so we have, true. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, and we have to COVID test every 24 hours too for certain companies. Oh. So yeah, it's exhausting. So, but they are just brand new guys that are trying to work their way into the porn industry. And um, yeah, that's probably. I mean. That's just wide open. I mean, you're running around Miami, Hialeah, with your ass and tits hanging out the window, and you know. And then they set the guys up along the way. They probably won't like it that I'm telling like all the secrets. That's right. But... <laughs> we are at 28. We should wrap it up soon. I do have one question. It's not even a good one to end it on, but okay. something I've been wanting to ask a porn star that I never got to. Oh my goodness. Okay, Ryan. <laughs> okay, well, of course, porn stars give different blowjobs than real life girls. Yes, you of know? course. It's a porn star blowjob. Right. Who taught every porn star to do it that way? And how come normal girls don't do it that way? Why is there such a divide? I think once you've been in the industry for a while and you're shooting with other women on set and you kind of see what they do, or like me, when I first got in the industry, I mean, I probably had zero clue. But then like I started watching a lot of the girls that were in the top 10 on Pornhub and just watching their scenes and just seeing how they moved and what they did with their bodies. And, you know, just eventually you just start Study going great. with it. Yeah. Colby, or I'll just Colby watch the Jordan. trailers. Yeah. Colby study <laughs> you oh, gotta okay. do your homework. Do okay. your put in your and due to diligence. That up, who's your goat? Who do you look up to? I don't really look up Good to question. anyone. I mean, I respect anyone that's a mover and a shaker and a hustler, but mm. a mogul. Yeah, there was no one that I ever really looked up. I mean, I like Jenna Jameson, but yeah. So who's your favorite current porn star? Male like, or male? <laughs> of course, Rochelle Ryan. Good answer. <laughs> me. <laughs> okay. Maybe a threesome girl to shoot with. Who's your favorite girl? Um, I want like two men. <laughs> Am I killing the fantasy? You're the best. <laughs> wow. Wow. I want two men. <laughs> what a great fucking episode. <laughs> she wants two men, Ryan. <laughs> Would you put it down with uh, Ryan and Darkie? <laughs> yeah, sure. Fucking right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, dude, we have COVID. There's no chance. Oh my goodness. Stay away. <laughs> and we have COVID. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Jinx, get the bus. <laughs> get the bus. <laughs> you look like you drive the bus, actually. Oh my gosh, no. The guy that drives the bang bus, no. <laughs> okay, Rochelle Ryan, thank you so much for coming Thank you on. for having me. And I'm me. sorry I sent you the wrong address. I feel terrible. Oh my gosh. You probably forgot about it, everyone. Uh, can you tell everyone where to find you? OnlyFans link, uh, what, where, where you're shooting lately, browsers. I know 
Pornhub, and then your, your Instagram. social is Instagram. You can and find Twitter. me on Twitter at Rochelle Ryan, Instagram only Rochelle Ryan, and then OnlyFans.com backslash Rochelle Ryan. All my socials are verified. Please don't get scammed by yeah, fake accounts. True. <laughs> oh, Jesus. And if you don't think she has OnlyFans, Google it. Yeah, literally. Google <laughs> yeah, it, Ryan. Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> this was Dark. I'm Ryan. Pillow Talk. We'll see you next Tuesday. Cunts.